10 things to know before moving to Dallas. Dallas is one of the best places for living. The city has so many opportunities for growth, and it's a great city to choose to settle down and raise your family in. Every great place, though, has some downsides to living there, and Dallas is no exception. Are you thinking of moving to Dallas? If you only know the city from TV shows like Dallas, most eligible Dallas or Big Ridge, Texas, you may not have the most accurate picture of this city. Here are 10 things to keep in mind before moving to Dallas. 1. The weather is unpredictable. You may have heard people say that Texas can experience all four seasons in the span of one day. Well, it's true. Dallas-Fort Worth area has some of the most unpredictable weather, especially during the spring months as the warmer weather moves in. Tornadoes and large hail are common between March and May. You'll often experience odd temperature drops during a 24-hour period as storms move through the area. While sometimes DFW will see occasional snow in December or January, it's not unlikely to wear a t-shirt around Thanksgiving and Christmas either. Be prepared for any type of weather when you're living in North Texas. 2. There are a ton of people. Dallas is a really, really big place. It's ranked as the ninth most populated city in the United States, but the fourth when you combine all the surrounding areas. If you're someone who loves loneliness, this definitely isn't the best place for you. You'll feel claustrophobic and will be stressed out all of the time because of all the people around you. 3. The Crime The crime here in Dallas is not the worst, but it's also not the best. It's more prominent in southern Dallas, but is present everywhere. Dallas is only safer than 6% of other cities here in the United States and has a violent crime rate of more than double the national median. This makes Dallas one of the more dangerous cities to live, and this mostly has to deal with the population that the city has. More people, the more likely you are to have crime happen in your city. Or, the city sleeps. Dallas is a big city, but is very different than New York City or Los Angeles. Most things will start to shut down at around 9 o'clock and then bars will close at around 2 to 3 in the morning. For most people that are used to the party and city life going on all night, this will be a big downside to living in Dallas. The nightlife is still very lively, but it will be very different than most party cities. 5. The Cost of Living Depending on where you are in Dallas, it's very expensive to live here. Where I'm originally from, the cost of living score is 113.8. The average cost of living in the United States is at 100. So the Dallas area is much more expensive to live here than most places. The rent, insurance, medical care, and groceries here in Dallas are more expensive than most places here in the United States. This makes it a huge downside to living in Dallas. 6. It's not a good place for vegans. Even though there are more and more options opening up for vegans, it's still not a great place to be if you are one. Most people, when you say you are vegan, will look at you funny and judge you a little bit. Meat and animal-based products are pretty much a delicacy here in Dallas. We love our barbecue, chicken, and steak. Those who are vegan will have a difficult time living here in Dallas. Seven is the mixed culture. The Mexican culture is very prominent as well. 
Dallas has arguably the best traditional Mexican food that you can get here in the United States. With growing up here in Dallas, I've been able to see how important the Hispanic culture is and how good the people are. Their traditions and presence in the Dallas area help makes Dallas, Dallas. This isn't a place for you if you don't like their culture or beliefs. With the Hispanic population in Dallas being at 36.8%, you'll be able to see a lot of it. Cinco de Mayo is arguably one of the most important holidays that is celebrated here in Dallas because of the heavy presence and influence that their culture has here. This will be difficult for anyone that dislikes their culture. 8. A lack of public transportation In Dallas, public transportation is hard to find, making it super unreliable and will hardly get you anywhere. There isn't a city bus or subway that will be able to take you from suburb to suburb here. So your own form of transportation is essential. Dallas is very spread out as well. So it would be very hard to walk anywhere and it would be too dangerous to bike. So you'd need to find yourself a good, reliable car to get around. Nine. The scenery. Buildings, buildings, and more buildings. That's what you'll see whenever you come here to Dallas. The city is very flat and doesn't have mountains or a beach to entice you with its beauty. Dallas and its surrounding area are flat and don't have much other than plains and woodland out to the east. Now, if you love seeing buildings all around you every day, good for you. But if you want a place that has beautiful scenery, Dallas is definitely not the place for you to live. 10. Traffic The traffic is an all-day event. Having to drive to get to my job this past summer, traffic was all day every day. It didn't matter if it was at 6 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon. The highways were always busy and full of those crazy drivers. Get ready for those Texas drivers. They are crazy, ruthless, and pretty bad. They're the kind of drivers that will do anything to make sure they make their exit. It doesn't end there. If traffic stresses you out and you don't want to deal with the thousands of people on the highways, Dallas is not a place for you.